Hi guys, Robert Optimal Bodies. Just a follow up video from my uh, metabolic rate and fat people having actual higher metabolisms than lean people. Um, I spoke about tricks and tips and little tweaks that people who are um, getting that sub 10% body fat and they're struggling to get it even further as I mentioned in my previous video as it gets harder and harder, the body fights against you doing this process. So, um, depending what sort of diet you're on, you might be on a really low carbohydrate or low calorie diet. So the biggest tip that I can give to re, just re-spark all the fat burning, get your metabolism spark back up, is incorporating a refeed or a high carbohydrate period mainly. So the research shows a six to eight hour period of elevated insulin levels, which happens when you have carbohydrates or even a lot of protein, uh, needs to be incorporated to get your leptin levels back up so you're sort of tricking your body into saying we've got a lot more fuel on board than we did have. Let's waste some more body fat so you can get even leaner. So six to eight hours. A lot of people do like a full day or two days, big cheat days. It's not necessary it's, and it's only going to lead to fat storage. So only a six to eight hour period. So you might start at four in the afternoon, go to about 10 at night. Just that window, get two or three meals, big carbohydrate loads in that space. That's enough to prevent any fat loss, but to get all the positives and ramp up fat burning. So you can continue on your quest to get shredded or whatever your goal is. And then I recommend this around once a week, especially if you're on a low carbohydrate diet for periods of time, your insulin levels are remaining low. You want to spark them back up around at least once a week. The leaner you get, the more often you need to spike it. The more body fat you have, the longer you can go. You can go a week, two, maybe three at push without having these big spikes in insulin. So. Incorporate a refeed, it'll really help. Mentally as well, some people might not feel, don't feel guilty, but even if you do, it can help you to get back into your exercise. You're like, right, I feel bad about this food. It was nice at the time, but I'm gonna smash it now and get back, um, bump the intensity back up. And it can just help you mentally. You can have some foods that you might have not had in quite a long time. So use these foods to your advantage. They're a tool, cardio's a tool, training's a tool, your diet's a tool. Don't use everything at once, have plenty of tools available and then you can pick and choose when to use them for your beneficial and uh, whatever your goals are. So thanks for listening, incorporate a refeed. Cheers guys.